How exciting is this? Hello. So, here is a little bit of fun for you to have at the airport, OK? A little, little prank for you to play. All you need to do is go down to your local fancy dress shop, hire yourself a pilot's outfit, <laughs> pop it on, then head down to your local airport, sit in the bar and get completely wasted. <laughs> Just watch people around you losing their minds. <laughs> hey, where are you going? <laughs> oh, that's my one. <laughs> Don't worry, I know a shortcut. <laughs> I'm a nervous fly. I get very nervous when I fly. And they don't do enough to help us, do they? The safety demonstration. Can we drop that already? <laughs> it's 2017. We've got the seatbelt fastening down. <laughs> we don't need any of it. Why do we have to start every flight with a cabin crew performing a little play entitled The Horrific Ways You Could Die on This Aircraft? <laughs> Because we have this routine on planes, and we're used to the routine, so no one questions the routine. Well, I'm the guy who questions the routine. <laughs> I was on a plane the other day. I was doing something we have all done loads of times before on the plane, lifting up the blind for takeoff and landing. <laughs> for the first time ever, I decided I would ask the stewardess why I had to lift up the blind for takeoff and landing. <laughs> it is a question that I regret asking. <laughs> Because this is the genuine reason. I said, Madam, out of interest, why do I have to lift up the blind for takeoff and landing? She looked at me. Do you know what she said? She went, Well, sir, if something were to go wrong with the engine, then you are the pilot's eyes. <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> I'm not ready for that level of responsibility. And no one told me that when I purchased the ticket. I was very much led to believe I was travelling in the capacity of passenger, not bloody co-pilot. <laughs> also, I think you may have picked the wrong guy. <laughs> Let's look at the evidence here. I've had a sleeping pill, two glasses of red wine, and I just cried whilst watching Inside Out. <laughs> I'm not your man. <laughs> and how does this... How does this scenario play out in your head as we're nosediving towards the ground and I look out of the window and see smoke billowing from the engine? I'm meant to, what, just amble up to the cockpit, <laughs> pop my head through the door. Awfully sorry, gents, your eyes in the back here. <laughs> I don't know whether you're aware of this, but one of the wings has fallen off. <laughs> you might want to buckle up. I will send someone through to show you how it's done. Thank you! That very much made it sound like I said something to the stewardess. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't actually complain, you know. I'm British. I wouldn't dream of causing a fuss. <laughs> I don't think I'm capable of complaining. I hate complaining. If I'm with someone that's complaining in, say, a restaurant, I die inside. <laughs> I'm like, just please don't say anything. Just don't make a scene. Just eat the nut, all right? We have an EpiPen at home. We will deal with it later. <laughs> what? No, everything's wonderful. Thank you. No, no, she loves it as well. Her neck is always that big. That's normal. Thank you. <laughs> Social anxiety, that's my problem. I have social anxiety. That's why, hands down, the hardest bit of travelling for me, passport control. Oh, I hate passport control. I cannot deal with being questioned by a figure of authority. <laughs> Every time I fall apart under the most basic of questioning as well. I walk up, they're like, where are you travelling from today, sir? France. No, Spain. Italy. Damn it, sorry, England. <laughs> Do you know why I said that? Didn't sleep on the plane. Drugs didn't work. Not drugs like drugs drugs. I mean, drugs like sleeping pill drugs. I don't have any drugs on me. I'm not a mule. Please don't look at my bottom. I have explosive diarrhoea. Not explosive like a bomb. Oh, I just said bomb in an airport. Oh, no, it's not a, it's a phrase, you know. A, you're saying bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. The more you say it, the less offensive it becomes. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Oh, it's like a song. I'll stop saying bomb now, because you're all looking at me like I'm a terrorist. I I promise you, I'm not a terrorist, I'm just Jack, plain old Jack. Hi, Jack! Not hi, Jack! <laughs> no, don't shoot! <laughs> Thank you very much! Uh, uh -huh.